Welcome to today's discussion on physical infinities. The concept of infinity in physics and how it differs from mathematical infinity. Unlike in mathematics, where infinity represents something endless or boundless. In physics, encountering infinity is generally not a good sign. It often points to inaccuracies or incompleteness in a theory or model. Let's dive into why that is. When infinity shows up in physics calculations, it usually means something has gone wrong. Take the theory of relativity for example. As long as an object's speed is below the speed of light, the theory works perfectly. But if you try to exceed that speed, infinities start appearing in your calculations. These infinities indicate that the calculations are violating fundamental laws of the universe, suggesting a mistake somewhere. Quantum electrodynamics, QED, is one of the most successful theories in physics, with predictions that match experimental results with astonishing precision. However, even in QED, infinities can crop up during calculations. To get meaningful results, physicists use a process called normalization to remove these infinities. This illustrates how problematic infinity can be in physics. It needs to be carefully managed to avoid errors. Around 1900, a new theory excited the scientific community because it offered a finite approach. This was string theory, which differs from other theories by not relying on basic entities like electrons or protons, but instead on tiny loops called strings. String theory is compelling because it doesn't involve infinities, which many physicists see as a sign that it aligns with the true laws of nature. In physics, the appearance of infinity in calculations is often a red flag, indicating that something is fundamentally wrong. Now, let's shift gears to cosmological infinities. In cosmology and gravitation theory, infinities also make an appearance. For example, Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts that the density of the universe at the moment of the Big Bang was infinite, a state known as a singularity. Similarly, if you fall into a black hole, general relativity predicts you'll encounter infinite density at its center, another form of infinity. However, many cosmologists, particularly those who work on string theory, argue that these infinities might indicate that the theory itself is incomplete or flawed. As mentioned earlier, encountering infinity often means there's a problem with the theory. Yet some scientists, like Roger Penrose, believe that these initial infinities, like the one at the beginning of the universe, play a crucial role in the structure of physics. Despite this, predicting actual infinities is extremely challenging. For instance, we don't know if the center of a black hole is infinitely dense because the event horizon of the black hole acts as a barrier, preventing us from observing it directly. This makes it impossible to determine whether the density is finite or infinite. This brings us to another intriguing question. Is our universe finite or infinite? The truth is, we may never know for sure. A finite universe leads to puzzling questions, like what lies beyond its boundary. Some theories suggest there might be nothing beyond it. Imagine a two-dimensional universe on the surface of a sphere. There would be no edge or boundary similar to the surface of a balloon. The universe might be like this, with no boundary or edge. If we consider an expanding two-dimensional universe, it could be like a balloon being inflated with galaxies moving away from each other. From any point on the balloon's surface, the universe appears to be expanding, yet there is no center of expansion within the surface itself. The geometry of space, as we've previously discussed, depends on the density of matter in the universe, much like how a rubber sheet curves when you place a mass on it. If the universe has a high density of matter, the curvature will increase, leading to a spherical geometry with a finite volume. On the other hand, a low-density universe would have a negative curvature, stretching and expanding infinitely. This leads to one of Einstein's greatest mysteries. While cosmological models can describe the geometry of the universe, 
they don't fully explain its topology. The answer may lie in the elusive theory of quantum gravity, but until then, we're left to speculate. So there you have it, an exploration of physical and cosmological infinities. In physics, encountering infinity often signals a problem with calculations or theories, while cosmological infinities present us with profound mysteries that may remain unsolved due to the universe's inherent defenses. Thank you for joining me in this deep dive into the concept of infinity in physics and cosmology. If you found this video insightful, please leave a comment below with your thoughts, like the video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future content.